Hi everyone, so I'm going to be making a video on how to create an accordion um, on Next.js. So what we want to do is we want to go to my go to your desktop and create a brand new project. npx create next app and I'll just call it accordion. And for all these options, I'm just going to say no and then enter. So what I'll do next is just drag and drop this folder over when it's done loading or installing. And what I'll do is I'll go to, I will go to my index.js page, delete this line for enter, and just delete this enter as well. And I'll delete everything in between the main tag. So we should just have a default template just like this. Save it. And I'm going to create some data um, at the root. And I'm create a new folder. Call it data. And then new file. Call it matrix.js. So I'm going to have a bunch of different courses that I want to create. And if I have these courses here, then inside this array, we got some objects. So I'll just put just some data here for term, just one code. Communications, one, credits, 3.0, description, let's put description one for right now. And I'm going to have to do this, I'll do this uh, four more times here, or three more times. So then I have four terms here. So one, two, three, four. And I'll just change these then to and credits 3.0. Okay, I'll say summer four, three, four. That's good enough. And what I'll be doing is now on my actual index.js homepage, I have to import the data. And this matrix here that I have, I am going to have to put it in a use state. And I'll put a use effect because I want to do something with it as well. And in between the export and return, this is where I will set up a bunch of the use states. So const data set data. And I'll grab the matrix dot courses, add that in. And then what I'll also do is I'm going to add up all of the to the credits. So total credits set total credits. And then um, before I do anything else, I'm going to go in between the main here and set up the data to call data.map
And in between the return, I do want to add um, a component that will actually make things a little bit more organized. So I'm going to right click new folder, components, and I'm going to make uh, another folder, accordion. And inside here, I'll put index.js. And accordion.module.css. So in my index.js then, for the component, I will be setting up um, the template for the accordion. And I'm going to pass over property values. And then I'll return whatever that term is. And I'll display the code title. Credits on click set is active and then just put the not operator to always do opposite. So opposite of is active whenever it's clicked. And also inside this div I'll add another div. is active. So I'm just going to have these up and down arrows. So if it is active, if it's true, it'll be up arrow. If it is false, it'll be down arrow. And then based on if it is active or not, it will show the description as well. Save that. So this is what the boilerplate template for the accordion will be. And what we need to do next is we have to go back to our home page, index.js, and now we need to import this accordion. And this accordion will now be used in our map functionality right here. And we need to pass over the property values. So we always have to put a key so each iteration is unique. And there we go. That should be all of them now. And then I could save that. And if we want to see it a little bit more nicely, I could just stack it all on top like this. There we go. And one thing I have to do is I do also need to add all of these credits together. So in our data, we have a bunch of credits for each one. We want to be able to add all of these together. So we're going to be using a, a use effect here. I'm just going to run it once so it adds all the stuff together. So we're going to be adding all of these credits up. So I dot credits. And then under here, we will set total credits. 
to whatever that x value is when it adds everything up. And what I'll do is under this dot map functionality here, I will also display total credits dot two fixed. So I have at least one decimal place. And that should be everything. I'm going to also go in my styles globals.css, delete everything, save it, home module. I'll just delete everything under the main, save it. And now let's try running this and see what we get. And what I got here is It'll show the terms and these numbers, they should be separate. So I'm just going to go back to the code so it doesn't look messy. Index and actually accordion index.js. And let's see, code, title. Credits, oh, communication, okay, I see. So it just needs a space, actually. Let me actually try to do, a tab. Okay, maybe that won't work. All right, I'll just put a break there for now. You guys could stylize it. I'll just go back to the browser. There you go, so it's separated, um, so I could see it better. So communication one, there used to be space in between this area, but that's fine. You guys understand. So what I could do is if you click on this little arrow, you can see description one shows up, click it again, it disappears, and then the arrows change too. And you can see you can click one at a time. So each of the different descriptions show if it, um, if you want to display it. And of course, all the way at the end, you see it's 14.0 because it adds all of the numbers together. So this is how you go about um, doing the accordion but also adding number numbers together so then you can display it at the end.